pressure melted down. this one. go 20-ish. Thank you, Mr. Cutthroat. Appreciate you so much. I feel like I'm starting to get dialed in. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. I invented this little guy the other day. I'm hoping he'll sort of imitate the, uh, the fry, uh, kokanee fry, in the river right now. And then off of that, what I've been catching some fish on is this waltz worm right here. Little bead-headed guy. Interesting note. I was fishing one of these. It had an orange thread collar. And they wouldn't touch it. And the second I put that on, I caught a couple of, of good fish and a white fish on it. So uh, the bulk of the fish so far have come on just kind of your standard Ray Charles sow bug. Um, so someday I will catch a fish on something other than a sow bug imitation. Uh, but today might not be that day. But I have high hopes for this little fry. Maybe he'll maybe he'll grab a bigger fish for me. So. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd show is my strike indicator system that I've been fishing with um, for a while now. Uh, so all this is is 25 pound maxima, four feet of that, comes down to a swivel. I loop knot into some 2x and then come on down to uh, 3 or 4x or whatever you want to do. Uh, the idea here is that it hinges and it, so it sinks. So I keep these strike indicators really close. Anyway, all these are are a couple of ice fishing floats. And the reason I like to set them up this way, number one, multiple colors kind of stand out in different light. Uh, the other reason is if I throw a streamer or a crayfish or something on here and I'm twitching it through the water uh, with the rod, this doesn't make quite such a big wake. It kind of torpedoes through a little bit. Uh, and it's a little more wind resistant. These are just little bobber stops right here like they use in, with uh, slip float fishing, my native Midwestern roots. And I put several on just to kind of make sure that, uh, that it doesn't slip. And this is, I've been fishing this thing, this little setup here, these, this exact one for, oh gosh, two months, beginning of March. So going on two months. And it, they haven't loosened yet. They're just really excellent. Um, anyway, so I set it up with just a little bit of slack in these guys. So that as they're floating down the river, um, when those flies get toward the bottom, it'll hinge a little bit and point down, and I'll be able to see that. And it'll even point at where the flies are. So it can kind of help you read your drift a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it also hinges when I cast a little bit. And uh, I think that helps me cast it a little more efficiently, a little with slightly fewer tangles, perhaps. Um, Sometimes I cinch them down tight when I'm fishing like real heavy stuff and then it'll pop up like that and float uh, And that's that's a cool thing too. It'll sit up there uh, But with the light stuff I'm fishing right now, it's not going to do that. This is shallow water here in this spot I don't I don't need it to do 
that much. Sometimes I use smaller versions of these. I probably could get away with that today, but it's what's on there. I'm just being a little lazy about it. Anyway, so that's kind of my system. It's easy to set up. It's super cheap. Um, and it's been just really, really good for me. Well, that's a good round trout. That's you. Look at that. That's a lovely brown trout right there. Look at that. I got a cutthroat earlier. I think it was a little bigger, but not by much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's some kind of angry. <laughs> oh. I don't care who you are, this doesn't suck. Another one on the pink head, light colored pink headed wonder bug, which is really nothing more than a tungsten surveyor with a pink head on it, on this case. Woohoo! Handsome devil that you are. Yeah, you like to tangle up my flies, don't you? Cutthroat, Bonneville, hey buddy, well he's full of something, he's eating like crazy. Another rainbow on that uh, lighter colored wonder bug, that's interesting, I'm taking that head for an egg perhaps. Wrong with that trout right there. Well, that was a good little decision, I guess. Just an experiment. Come here, handsome. Come here, handsome. Pink headed on bug. It's a very nice trout right there. It took a lighter colored version. Nice rainbow there. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's cool. Good looking fish. You got the wonder bug, did you? Yeah, nice fat trout. Let's just get that out of there. Look at that guy. Cool. fish. Thank you, buddy. You'll be a good one to end my first half of my day on. Yeah. Nice trout. Come here, you. Whoa. Oh, come here. <laughs> there you go. Boop, scoop. Look at that. That sure was worth one more run down through here. I almost went back to the truck. I got a couple more white fish and then this guy. You make me happy. Thank you, sir. Falling out. Cool. Woo, off he goes. Down into the depths. <laughs> 